Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to give a update on this orchid. I already took a video for this orchid I think 10 days ago when I have one flower and I have the first flower fully open and the second flower just about to open. If you observe in that video both the flowers are not in the same color. One flower has a rich yellow color while the other flower has a light yellow color and I thought maybe it uh, that was the best time to take because I can show um, the color variations on how the color uh, I can show like you know what is the color when the flower opens or in, in the initial days after the open flower and what is, what is the color after a week or so where uh, the, the, the flower gains rich uh, color and texture. And today I am just going through my plants and trying to uh, think which one should I take, which one, which plant should I shoot a video. And this plant really attracted me so well. If you see here, the color is developing crazily. It's going, it's coming much darker and much deeper in from yellow to orangish. You can see it started with very creamy yellow and a very pale yellow kind of a flower and it it is uh, it is moving into rich and dark yellow and if you can see the tip of the flower is kind of an orangish superb flowers i really like them i thought these flowers deserve a short video may not be a five minute old five minute or six minute or video or they deserve at least two to three minutes of video after all look at look how gorgeous the colors are i feel these flowers they are capable of producing seeds because if you observe here i see few growth you see they're just like a head of a bee I think these flowers are capable of producing seeds that's what I feel because of this growth here you see I don't know but maybe I'll try next year but not this year to just uh, cross a couple of my flower varieties but I'm completely new to this I don't want to take any risk now you can see from this angle you can see there is this pollen head maybe i think this is the pollen of the flower but yeah anyways this is the pot one low and n flower variety hybrid variety of cattleya such a beautiful and rich coloration of the flowers and these are long lasting as well i think I think it's been with me for almost two weeks so far. I will check how long these flowers would stay and I will update another video once the flowers are gone. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for, thank you very much for watching the video. If you come across this orchid, I think you should go for it because this is a compact orchid. This, this is not a long leaf orchid. The leaves are short. The canes are kind of growing longer to the if you see the size of the leaf you compare against the size of the leaf to the size of the cane this is I'm not sure this is the best crosses because the canes are long and the leaves are short ideally if you have a short leaf it's it would be much better if the canes are short as well and the plant is too compact this is kind of a compact to mini cattleya doesn't occupy much space doesn't occupy much space i think i can continue once this plant is done with the flowering i would report him and put him into a clear plastic plot and you can i would i can continue this plant in a similar sized plastic pot for maybe three four years from now very very nice uh, leaf texture as well you can see the leaves are really really, really um thick it's, the leaves are really thick 
and they are very strong as well that's it guys this plant already has a flower spike so i think this is the second time that this plant is flowering so hopefully i should see a new growth somewhere from here in some direction once the flowers are done i think uh, i'm just guessing i should be getting some someone from here from this from this angle and if i take proper care it should bloom me this winter thank you guys thanks for watching again uh, here's the plant god bless you all bye bye